okay so before jumping into microbiology there is something yesterday we saw pathology so there is something that connects pathology and microbiology that is the immune system so this topic uh, this notes is made in a way that any question that is asked from the immune system regardless of pathology or even microbiology you should be able to get it so this notes will help in that so i, th I thought uh, it's better we'll start from immune system before jumping into the microbiology so this immune system is a combination of both patho and micro so we are only quickly going to see a overview because i can't waste a lot of time in this okay uh, just listen quickly so we'll go through this very fast so basically immune system is the one which protects us from not just diseases from anything so immune system is of two types yesterday we saw innate and adaptive innate is immediate that occurs within minutes so it's very speed in onset but there is no memory whereas adaptive is you get from some problem so you get adapted from it so there is memory so for the future so all you need to know is memory is present only in adaptive so adaptive means there is memory so that is the first point that you need to know then so yesterday we said innate is uh, of a lot of types it could be simple barriers like stomach ph ga mucosa epithelium normal flora it could be inflammation the local inflammation process that is happening that is innate immunity phagocytosis the by wbc that is innate immunity our body's complement system that is innate immunity the cells like natural killer macrophages and monocytes that is innate immunity cytokines some cytokines um mostly uh, some cytokines are innate but very few are adaptive so let's take out the cytokines from adaptive so adaptive means you need to remember t cells and b cells so that's the second point i'm going to say so adaptive means memory that's the first point adaptive means t or b cells that is the second point so anything other than this t and b cells it is going to be innate immunity for your mcq you need to strictly follow these two i repeat these two mcq adaptive means there is memory adaptive means t cells and b cells so please make a note of this point so i hope you may note at this point now so whenever you get up uh, whenever your body is exposed to a pathogen so our body finds two ways to destroy that pathogen so the first way is called humoral immunity which means attacking the organism indirectly the second is cell mediate immunity which means directly you will attack the or your body will attack the pathogen so directly means it is going to swallow it that is phagocytosis or cytotoxicity is going to toxicate the cell and it's going to kill it so you either eat it or you kill it that is a direct mechanism so cell mediated immunity means phagocytosis and cytotoxicity so humoral means indirectly which means they are going to produce antibodies so you need to remember humoral means antibody so to remember this to remember this i want you to write like this h so make a y over here this is the symbol of the antibody so the antibody humoral means antibody that's the strongest point i want to say regarding your mcq humoral immunity is antibody antibody someone's microphone is on please turn it off everyone please turn off your microphone i don't want any inter interruptions here because it's a recording session okay so humoral means antibody that's the point so humoral means again i want to say you can make this as i that is indirect killing so humorous means humoral means indirect killing i for indirect killing y for antibody indirect killing and antibody so if you remember this you can crack this mcq so obviously cell mediated becomes phagocytosis and cytotoxicity so cell mediated means cytotoxicity cell mediated means cytotoxicity and cell mediated means eating eating that is phagocytosis eating that is phagocytosis okay then now so there's going to be a target for both of this so when it comes to humorous humoral immunity indirectly attacking 
it is going to target mostly bacteria. There is an extracellular pathogen. But when it's cell-mediated immunity, it is going to whatever is happening is going to happen within the body. So intracellular pathogens it will focus on. That is the viruses. So humoral means bacteria. Cell-mediated means virus. That is the next point. Humorous means bacteria. Humoral means bacteria. Humoral means bacteria, HB. So you remember this HP pencil that we used to use in the childhood. So HB pencil, humoral means bacteria. That, you, that point you need to remember. Then cell mediated means virus. So remember, whenever you're going to an interview, you're going to submit your CV. So remember that CV, so cell mediated means virus. So you are going to use HB pencil to fill your CV. Just CV form, just remember this point. HB pencil you will use to fill your CV form. This is the mnemonic I'm giving here. So humoral, uh, humoral means bacteria. Humoral means bacteria. Cell mediated means viruses. They attack the viruses. So that's the primary target. Then humoral, the HB is not only for bacteria, Another B unit, remember, that is B cell because we said antibodies. The precursor of antibody is going to be plasma cells, the precursor of which is going to be B cells. So again, this B unit, remember. So if you remember HB, your exam should go smooth. So HB, B is for B cell, B cell produces plasma cell, plasma cell produces antibodies. Okay, but a CMI is for T cells cell mediated cytotoxic so t cells cmi t cells humoral b cells hb means c is going to be t okay i hope we are clear here so in t helper cells there are two types of t helper cells yesterday we talked about these two types uh, th1 and th2 but we were not able to go into detail because I thought uh, I can cover this immune system again separately. So here's what we, what we got. So T helper cell type one, T helper cell type two. So type one is going to be cell mediated, type two is going to be humoral. That is our antibody mediated. So this point you need to know. So most of the time cell mediated is going to be TH1. So most of the time cell mediated is going to be T cells. Okay, why this TH2 is uh, humoral and antibody mediated? Because it funct its function, primary function is activating the B cells. That's why. So it activates the B cell. So you need to know the first type of T helper, that is the first receptor, TH1, uh, when it's activated, so it secretes cytokines, which are interleukin 2 and interferon gamma, whereas TH2 is for interleukin 4 and 5. So you need to remember 1 is for 2, Interleukin 2, 2 is in uh, TH2 is for 4 and 5. 4 and 5. 4 and 5. To remember this point, you can simply think that you can just double it. So 1 means you can double it 2, 2 means you can double it 4. So 5 will be a bonus. So 1 is 2, 2 means 4. So TH1 is interleukin 2. TH2 is interleukin 4. So 4 means you have to add 5 along with it. Okay. Okay. Next is immune organs. So immune organs means there is primary organs, there is secondary organs. So primary organs means where they mature, where the T cells and B cells mature. So T cells mature in thymus, T cells mature in thymus, B cells mature in bone marrow. So T for T, B for B. Okay. So only one point you need to remember other than that is B cell also matures in the fetal liver. So liver of the fetus. So fetal liver. So T cell, thymus, B cell, bone marrow. T for T, B for B. Other than that, B for L, fetal liver. Okay. Next. In th that point also you can remember HB because hepatocytes, hepatocytes, B cells. Hepatocytes, B cells. So B cells, hepatocytes okay b for bb b for hb next is secondary so the secondary immune organs can be lymph nodes spleen and malt mucous association lymphoid tissue so lymph node is where the immune response is initiated spleen is the site of immune response to antigens in blood 
um, mucosa associated lymphoid tissue could be from intestines or tonsils. So I'm not going much inside this. Now, we have major cells in the immune system. They can be neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, mast cells, macrophages, dendritic cells, B cells, plasma cells, helper T cells, cytotoxic, memory, natural killer cells. So this many number of cells you have. So you need to know what they do. Neutrophils, they are going to eat the bacteria, phagocytosis. Eosinophils, allergy and parasites. So neutrophils are going to go for para, uh, phagocytosis. So they're just going to eat the microbe. Eosinophil means you need to remember two things. One is allergy, another is parasitic infection. Allergy parasit. So we already saw these points. Again, mast cells, there is basophil. Mast cells release histamine. This also we saw yesterday. Mast cells, basophils release histamine. Mast cells release histamine. Then comes macrophages. So macrophages work similarly like neutrophils. So they are going to eat up the uh, microbes. So phagocytosis again. So forget about this cytokine point. Okay. And then comes dendritic cells. This dendritic cells present antigen. Only one point I want you to remember. Dendritic cell is called antigen presenting. Okay. Its function is antigen presenting dendritic cell antigen presenting so where this is going to present so this is a lot of mcqs actually uh, so a lot of times asked mcq yeah so you must know sorry so you must know dendritic cell present the antigen T cells. B cell present the antigen to MHC type 2 restricted T cell. MHC, MHC, MHC type 2 restricted T cell. Okay. So this point is very, very important. So these two are presenting. So dendritic also presents, B cell also presents. So dendritic presents antigen to T cells. B cells presents antigen to MHC2 uh, restricted T cells. Okay, MHC2 restricted T cells. So in any way, they are going to present to T cells only. In any way, they are going to present to T cells only. That's the point you need to know. So whatever it is, any antigen is going to be presented to T cell. That is the MCQ. Okay. Okay. So the others are not much important. So you need to know helper T cells means MHC, recognize antigen associated with class 2 MHC. Cytotoxic T, T cells means class 1 MHC. So class one MHC, but natural killer, they don't care about the MHC, MHC independent killing. So MHC independent killing. So in between there's something called memory cells. It could be for the B cell, it could be for the T cells. So the memory is for memory, which means for further in future, if there is any exposure to the same antigen, it is going to kill quickly. So the response would be quick. So more rapid secondary response. Okay. So that is easily understandable. So you need to know helper T, class two, cytotoxic T, class one, natural killer. They don't care about anything. They just kill the tumor cells or virus infected cells. So that's it about this table. So very important. I repeat this point, it's very important. Neutrophil, they're going to eat up the pathogen. Eosinophil, they're going to be seen in allergic reaction and parasitic reaction. Mass cells release histamine. Macrophage, remember about eating again. Dendritic cell and B cell, you need to remember, they are going to present the antigen to the T cells. So dendritic directly, they are going to present to the T cells, direct T cells. Um, B cells are going to present to class 2 MHC restricted T cells. Okay, helper T cells, class 2, cytotoxic T cell, class 1. Memory cells is for future response. Natural killer cells, they don't care about the MHC. So MHC independent killing. So all of these points are highly essential for your MCQs. I want you to remember all these points. Okay. So I'm not going to discuss about much about MHC here. I'm going to say only one important MCQ that you need to know. So few MCQ. MHC, what is MHC? It is going to be, it's a surface molecule, cell surface molecule 
which is encoded by HLA because yesterday we talked about HLA. Okay, now this MHC is of three types: one, two, and three. So we discuss about one and two. We need to discuss about three. So before jumping into three, you need to remember MHC one activates what type of C T cell is CD eight, CD eight T cells. MHC two activates CD four T cells. 2 activates CD4, 1 activates CD8, 2 activates CD4. This again is a highly repeated MCQ. MSC 1 activates CD8 T cell, MSC 2 activates CD4 T cells. Okay, now MSC 3, this is neat PG MCQ. The answer for that MCQ was TNF alpha. So MSC 3 includes, so these things you need to know, soluble protein of complement system C2 and C4, heat shock protein, TNF alpha and beta, and properdin factor B. So these five MHC3 includes soluble protein of complement system C2, C4, heat shock protein, TNF alpha and beta, properdin factor B. So these points you should know. Okay, am I clear till now, everyone? Are you all okay with the speed? We can't waste a lot of time in immune system. We have to grab the quick short, short points so that we don't miss anywhere in immune system. Am I clear? Yes, good. Now, going to the next. So we talked about interleukin, interleukin yesterday. So I should have mentioned this first. My, if microbiology was started first, I would have started with this. So interleukin 1, interleukin 2, interleukin 8, interferon, tumor necrosis factor. These are the basic uh, cytokines that you need to be aware of. So one, we yesterday saw either acute inflammation or fever. Acute inflammation, fever. Two means they stimulate proliferation of other T cells. Interleukin 2 stimulates proliferation of other T cells. So that's the point you need to remember. So they are activate natural killer cells also. So they stimulate the proliferation, that's multiplic multiplication, div division, uh, I mean dividing uh, potential of the T cells. So they help us to get a lot of T cells and also activates the natural killer cells. That's what interleukin 2 do. So interleukin 8 and leukotriene B4. So these two are chemotactic factors which attracts the neutrophils. Yesterday we saw, I draw a picture of inflammation. So where one of the things is leukotriene B4 and interleukin 8. Okay, along with C5A, they will be useful in active acute inflammation. Active acute inflammation. Next is interferons. So interferons means you need to remember they are involved in granuloma formation. Interferons means granuloma formation. That is the point I want you to remember. Interferons means granuloma formation. For example, TB. Okay. So tumor necrosis factor means it is tumor necrosing factor. So apoptosis of cancer cells. Apoptosis of cancer cells. So these are the five important points from the cytokines. So cytokines, what are they? Basically, they are signaling molecules, which is present during the immune response. So I hope that is fine. So cluster differentiation yesterday itself we saw, so I'm not going to talk about this. All you need to know is T cell marker, B cell marker, pan T cell, pan B cell marker. So pan T is going to be three, pan B is going to be 19. That is the point you need to know. 